In standard Blender, selecting polygons by angle is done using the Select Linked Flat Faces operator. You set an angle value and try to find a threshold that works for your task. However, this approach has serious limitations. If you've made one selection and then want to add another that requires a different angle, you have to run the operation again. The new angle is then applied to the entire selected area, often overwriting or expanding what you had previously selected. This turns the process into a tedious routine of constant adjustments. The Select Polygons by Angle add-on was created to solve these problems. Let's see how it changes the game. Unlike the standard tool, our add-on remembers each selection. If you set a 9-degree threshold and select one area, then change the threshold for another selection, the first area remains untouched. This gives you complete control, allowing you to work on different parts of your model, each with its own unique angle, without fear of destroying your previous work. The key and revolutionary feature of the add-on is Angle Preview. It eliminates the need to guess or manually find the right angle value. When you hover over an adjacent, unselected polygon, the add-on shows the precise real-time angle between it and your current selection. By holding Shift and clicking on that polygon, you not only add it to your selection but also automatically set the calculated angle as the new angle threshold. We've also accounted for all scenarios. If the polygon under the cursor doesn't share an edge with your selection, you'll see a not connected warning, and clicking will reset the threshold to zero. In real-world models, surfaces aren't always perfectly flat. For such cases, the angle tolerance setting is provided. It adds a specified value to the measured angle, creating the necessary tolerance for the selection. For example, if the measured angle is 30 degrees and the angle tolerance is set to 1 degree, the final threshold for the selection will be 31 degrees. This allows you to easily capture slightly uneven surfaces that don't formally fit the exact angle. You can adjust this tolerance on the fly to achieve the perfect result. The next powerful feature is Aggressive Expand. By default, if you have already made one selection and start a new one from a different point, the first selection acts as a natural barrier, limiting the spread of the second one. When Aggressive Expand mode is enabled, the new selection will ignore previously created barriers and spread through them as if they weren't there. Meanwhile, the initial selection is fully preserved. This opens up new strategies for creating complex selections. The Directional Selection panel offers functionality similar to the standard loop select, but with one key advantage, it fully adheres to the set angle threshold. The selection will propagate along the polygon loop but will immediately stop where the angle between adjacent polygons exceeds the set threshold. This provides unprecedented control when working on curved surfaces. Imagine you've set the threshold to 15 degrees. When you activate the selection, it will proceed horizontally and vertically but will stop at the first sharp curve. Why? Because the angle at that point exceeds 15 degrees. Now, without changing the initial polygon, you increase the threshold to 35 degrees and repeat the operation. The selection instantly overcomes the previous barrier and captures the next section, stopping at a new, even steeper curve. This tool is designed to work with quad-based topology and correctly stops at the boundaries with triangles or engines. You can also independently enable or disable horizontal and vertical selection to have full control over the direction. The Save Selections panel is your personal manager for complex selections, allowing you to save and instantly recall frequently used polygon groups. The full set of management tools includes Rename, give your selection a meaningful name using the edit icon. Overwrite, update an existing selection set with the current selection in your viewport. Delete, remove individual sets or all of them at once with the corresponding buttons. You can activate multiple saved sets simultaneously, combining them to tackle the most complex modeling and texturing tasks. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I sincerely believe that Select Polygons by Angle will become your reliable assistant, saving you a massive amount of time that you can dedicate to what matters most your creativity. You can purchase the add-on or learn more about it through the link in the description. Happy modeling in Blender!